All right, so this video is going to be a comparison of uh, the, the wheeled coolers from Yeti. So you've got the Yeti Rode 48 which is the new wheeled cooler from Yeti, and it takes on some of the same characteristics of the Yeti Rode 24 that they came out with as a, kind of their new design, new latches, uh, really cool cooler, cool cooler. And then we're going to compare that with the uh, Yeti Tundra Hall. Now the Yeti Tundra Hall has been out for a couple of years, and uh, we're going to put these things uh, side by side. Really appreciate all the comments that I've gotten on uh, the, the, the initial video on the Yeti Rode 48 uh, asking for this video. So let's get into it. Let's put these things side by side and let's check them out. All right, so here's both coolers side by side. And again, on the left, the gray cooler is the Yeti Tundra Hall. And on the right is the new Yeti Rode 48. And, uh, you know, it's interesting to me to see the shape of them, the shape and size of them when they're side by side like this because they're not too far off. The The Yeti Rode 48 is not too far off in size uh, and height from the Tundra Hall, but has an equal capacity. And, you know, they say, I think they say the Tundra Hall is 42 beers. This one's 45, um, but it's close enough. They're pretty close to the same capacity of their wheeled cooler lineup. And uh, this one, the, the Rode 48, just has a much more square footprint, whereas the Tundra Hall certainly has a more rectangular footprint and that's what you can see and what you notice from looking at it from this angle so even though these two coolers are roughly the same capacity uh, obviously different footprints uh, with the again the square versus the rectangle uh, what interested me or, or what I thought was interesting was the weight and the weight of the Tundra Hall is 37 pounds advertised on the Yeti website and the Rode 24 is only 25 pounds and that's a pretty significant difference that's a 12 pound difference 12 pound difference in the weight of the cooler and you get the same capacity so let's look at some of the obvious stuff and then we'll open up the coolers and look inside so the wheels are the uh you know they're never going to go flat they're not they don't hold air they're solid uh wheels and tires or tires i guess um, you're never going to puncture them but there is a slight difference even though they're the same uh, this one has a lot more sidewall on its tires uh, than this one does and so to me that's like you know the old school 15 inch rims there and here we got the uh, the new school kind of 20 inch rims with a lot less sidewall but uh, either way uh, both of the the wheels and tires are the same and they're never going to go flat on you and they they both feel really really good when you're rolling them around so a lot of confidence in uh in the tires now obviously because of the width of the tires on each of these coolers you are not going to be able to take this thing out easily um, you can do it but it won't be easy into uh, beach sand so yeti did not solve that problem of uh, beach sand with the new roadie 48 uh, they didn't solve it with the yeti tundra hall and i don't think they're trying to solve that um, it's advertised as you know rocks gravel mud you know uh, dirt roads whatever grass uh, and it does really really well both coolers do really really well in those kind of conditions uh, beach sand is not something they've tackled yet all right so this thing still has the old uh, t-rex latches i believe that's what these are called and they're you know they're not that bad they're pretty easy to deal with uh, but these latches are a masterpiece i mean they just flip open so easily you can literally do it with one finger so i'm a big fan of uh, these latches over the t-rex latches although got a lot of these coolers uh, with these t-rex latches on it and they've never failed me so that is one difference though between the two coolers the other thing that you'll notice on the uh, tundra hall is you've got a place to lock it whereas this one uh, does not have a place to lock the cooler now i believe you can buy a kit that fits in this space right here and you're going to have to drill some holes either up or down uh, to get it to uh, lock and i'm not too crazy about drilling holes into a 450 dollars cooler but that kit is available. In fact, uh, when I bought this cooler, this came with a coupon for a free lock kit um, that I did not take advantage of because I just don't ever lock my coolers. So that's not a big deal to me. But if that's important to you, uh, this one does not have an easy way to lock it. Whereas this one does, you can put a padlock right through there. So both coolers have drain plugs. I'm not going to show you that. I know there's a lot of people that want to see a drain plug on the 24 Rody. Uh, but that's not what we're talking about today but this one has a drain plug on the back i'll show it to you in a second and then obviously the the tundra hall has one as well um, under there all right so the handles 
Oh, there's Jake. <laughs> Has to make a cameo in almost every video that I that I make. Um, Jake's my 12-year-old black lab. I had him since he was six weeks old, and uh, he seems to be he's doing pretty good for for a 12-year-old boy. But uh, yeah, just about to talk about the handles, buddy, and you're messing, you're messing me up. But uh, I think he thinks there's ice in these coolers because he he loves to get the uh, cooler ice. But anyways, let me get Jake out of the way. Go on, bud. So here are the handles, and I can tell you uh, this Tundra Hall handle is uh, really, really stout, really sturdy, and it really just gives you a feeling of confidence with this with this handle and moving this cooler around. I've never had a problem with it. I've had these coolers. Uh, I bought them when they first came out. I have a white one and a gray one, uh, the Tundra Hall, and never had a problem with the handle, never felt like the handle was weak or anything like that. This one has a little bit different of a handle. You got to push this button right here, push the button and it extends out. And the one thing I've noticed about this handle is it's kind of, it's not flimsy by any means. It's very stout, but it has some play in it. It has some wiggle. And uh, that's kind of not what I expected. Um, but I understand uh, because of the way that this is built, I understand why it's like that. And I honestly don't think that's a factor in any capacity at all impacting the uh, the quality or the longevity of this handle. It just doesn't feel as stout as the Tundra Hall handle. Now I do like the way that you put this down because you just push the button, you can essentially let it go and then it locks into place. And I will tell you that uh, when this handle is extended on the Rode 48 and you're walking this thing around, uh, you've got some room there if you want to put another bag or something like that on there, it will hold it no problem and you can walk that around kind of similar to what people do with their luggage in the airport but uh that would carry a beach bag or a lake bag or a camp camping gear or whatever kind of gear you had um and you can't do that with this cooler and i'll show you why because when you pick this one up and you hold it up and you're walking with it there's no place for any gear to catch and it'll just kind of slide off the top whereas again this one put another bag or some gear on there and you're going to have no problems at all getting this thing around all right so here's both coolers open and i can tell you both coolers are just huge on the inside in terms of capacity and again relatively the same capacity just more of a rectangle shape here and more of a taller square uh format here and uh you know this one does come with the dry goods basket and it's pretty nice it's a solid uh clear basket and it fits in there fits in there like a glove and you can tell that these grooves are cut out for a divider and you could put another dry goods basket in over here and that's really cool that's just a nice feature to have and the tundra hall does not come with a dry goods basket although if you take this one and you put it over here guess what you got a dry goods basket so this dry goods basket in the roadie 48 fits it doesn't fit perfectly it's not as nice of a fit as that but it does fit in there um, and it won't fall I can't get it to fall I've tried to I put a little pressure on it um, so that can serve as a uh, dry goods basket for the uh, Tundra Hall because again it does not come with one and you've also got your uh, grooves here or uh, you can see that groove there to divide your load if a uh, if you want to do that so another thing that you'll notice is on the side of the roadie 48 you've got these three holes to accommodate accessories and on the side of the Tundra Hall, you only have this one hole right here. Um, so accessories for this that fit in here will not fit into this one. So the one accessory that I purchased, they call this the uh, Cooler Cup Caddy. And it's actually pretty handy and it will fit. And it doesn't have three dents, but it's got two. You can see one there and then one there. And it fits right in there like that. And it gives you a place Obviously, this accommodates the uh, the Ramblers and all that. And then you've got this nice big square area here. You can put an Apple iPhone in there. I've got an iPhone 12 Pro, and it fits in there perfectly. You can put your keys in there. It just gives you a nice little area there to put some stuff. And then you can shut this, close the lid, and you're still good to go with your uh, cup caddy. So the cool thing about this uh, cup caddy is, you know, when you're sitting there on the beach or wherever you're at, the lake, camping or whatever and you have drinks you naturally are going to put them up here and you stick your beer right there or whatever and then when you need to get another one you got to move it right not the end of the world in terms of inconvenience but with this thing you can get into the cooler open it up 
and it doesn't it doesn't interfere or impact uh, you don't have to move anything you just, whatever you put in here is gonna stay in there while you open and shut the cooler and uh, that's kind of why I bought that accessory it's about 40 bucks I think from the Yeti website and uh, to me worth every penny so the Yeti Rode 48 kind of seems to be a little bit more supported by Yeti in terms of accessories you got that cup caddy uh, you've got some other things like a divider a dry goods basket and again that dry goods basket will work in the Tundra Hall uh, but the Tundra Hall uh, obviously does not come with one whereas the Rode 48 comes with one all right so the last thing to talk about is price and uh, you know price is always a factor and Yeti coolers are not cheap um, I got my first Yeti cooler back in 2012 so I have absolutely no reservations um, and I still use that cooler it still holds ice like it did on day one and it's just held up well so the quality is there the ice retention is there um, but the price is high so you're looking at 400 bucks for the Tundra Hall with no dry goods basket and you're looking at $450 for this cooler uh, but it does come with the dry goods basket and the dry goods basket I think is 30 bucks I was on the Yeti website earlier today so you could essentially get this uh, cooler with the dry goods basket for $430 and this with the dry goods basket for $450 now that is a lot of money uh, to pay for a cooler and I get it and I, I understand it's not for everybody I'm not saying go out and buy one of these coolers I'm just telling you uh, I love them it's a high quality product uh, it does come at a price point that stings a little bit but um, I'm a believer in uh, Yeti coolers and I can tell you when I did my initial review and test on this one I filled it up with 48 beers 20 pounds of ice and I left it in my basement so it wasn't in direct sunlight and six days later it still had ice in there by the seventh day it was just uh, just cold water so uh, these things work the way they they are advertised to work and you're not going to go wrong with uh, either cooler all right so I hope this side-by-side uh, -side comparison kind of helped you out um, help you maybe make a decision on which one you want again 37 pounds 25 pounds there's some differences between these two coolers um, this one will uh, fit a little bit better I think in the bed of a truck this one sticks up kind of high might stick up over the bed rails I haven't actually tested that yet uh, 400 bucks 450 bucks both are a lot to pay for a cooler but uh, so I guess the ultimately the choice is yours and I hope this video helped you out in your uh, in your debate if you're watching this video particularly at this point in the video you're certainly debating on one of these so uh, I got them both and that's a way to solve that problem is just to get both of them but uh, you know got that one two years ago got this one uh, just recently so that takes away a little bit of that sting in terms of the price point but uh, there it is hope you guys enjoyed the video thanks for checking it out